So, as I'm recording this review, last night I checked out a movie called Cat Person at Cineworld as they put on an early screener for uh, cardholder members. Now, I've been kind of brooding on my thoughts on this movie. I've also talked to D Movie Man, awesome guy by the way. I've kind of been thinking about this movie more and more and more for both days now, kind of yesterday night and then today. So, this is going to be an interesting review. Before we start things off, I just want to say hey to you guys. Thank you for tuning in and thank you so much for taking your time out to check out this review. It is going to be spoiler free. Cat Person is directed by Susanna Fogel and it stars Amelia Jones and Nicholas Braun, Margot, who is a college student who also works at a cinema. Now, Margot is approached by Robert, who asks her on a date, but she thinks he could be a murderer. Just to interrupt this video very quickly, if you aren't aware by now, I do have a Patreon. You can buy my book, shop merch, and so much extra stuff. Request movies via PayPal. With Patreon, memberships do only start from £1 per month. You get so much access to so much early stuff, including reviews that you'll not see here onto the channel. Access to polls, competitions, goodies, giveaways, and all that good stuff. I do want to give a special thank you to all those people who do support my Patreon. Absolute legends. Love them all. Really appreciate the support and you can join today by clicking the link down below. Now, let's get back to the video. So this is going to be a little bit of a different structured review. I normally go into positives, negatives, give an overall score and can do an outro. So you will definitely get a kind of an outro for sure. But let's talk about this movie. It touches on a few different subjects, right? So the main subject here is about dating and about kind of modern dating as this is based on a short. I think in terms of modern dating, it's done quite well because I'm sure we could all relate to some point or another in our lives where there's been a time we've been you know really attracted to someone or we've maybe texted someone and you know you kind of start developing feelings you kind of look forward to seeing someone's text and it kind of makes your day or can uh, you know put you in a bad mood for a day if you haven't really spoke to them or say you've sent them a message but they've ignored you you kind of left wondering in your mind being like oh well does this person like me have they've gone off of me was it something wrong that i've said do i send like another text just to try and get a response am i being a little bit too pushy so there's of course a lot of different feelings and emotions go around whenever you are talking to someone and whenever you want to date someone and you maybe match with someone on a date app or in this case margot and robert meet at a movie theater it's not actually Actually over an app which was kind of nice and refreshing because a lot of these movies nowadays has to be by an app and I understand that is how a lot of modern dating works including myself and for my partner Emma we met on a dating app so there's nothing wrong with that but of course the old-fashioned way is meeting someone in person so it definitely explores two sides of the story here we get Margot's side where she's really into Robert and she admires him as he is a regular movie goer she's kind of you know want to make a move she's a little bit shy and reluctant to but then of course one day Robert makes the move on her and they're both awkward in their own separate rights Margot has a friend at college called Taylor who's played by Geraldine Vizwanafan so I'm just going to say Geraldine from here because I don't want to insult the actress with a mispronunciation so Taylor is a supportive friend of Margot but she's also kind of on the fence and being like yeah this guy's a little bit older he's a little bit weird he sounds weird and maybe some of the texts he sends are quite strange as well and she's kind of given Margot like red flags being like oh maybe you shouldn't meet up with this guy so of course it is one of those things where you might have a friend who is very close to you and be like, oh yeah, you know, maybe don't go on a date with this person. Maybe they aren't a great match for you or maybe they're not quite right for you. So again, that whole dating aspect of it and the mystique of it as it goes along and as things happen, maybe Margot suspecting that this guy's weird. Maybe he is a murderer and a stalker. I'm not going to go into how that kind of comes across in the movie. Again, there's moments that generally do have moments of tensions and suspense, which I actually really enjoyed and I kind of found myself kind of switched off in an extent and not really thinking like oh let's review this movie kind of board but actually just sitting back and like enjoying the movie for what it was and for that I absolutely did you know so I can definitely give praise to the movie here one glaring issue I have here and don't get me wrong 
this is going to be a split movie. You're going to have people who's either going to really, really like this one, or you're going to have people who's maybe was in on it kind of at the beginning, but then kind of fell off at the end. And I can completely understand why. For me, that wasn't really the case. But there is a big element here that I wasn't a fan of. Now, I'm going to tread very lightly when I say this. There's a character called Taylor, as a minute before, played by Jodie. Now, she has a big kind of presence in this throughout and a lot of her presence is about feminism right so let's just get one thing clear and just right out the gate and address the elephant in the room guys i'm not against feminism at all i am actually you know pretty cool with it i'm like look everyone has their rights everyone's allowed to speak their opinion and they're all mine one thing i would just want to address though is i don't have a problem with this being addressed in movies whatsoever as long as there is a point to it and as long as it has like a payoff as long as there's a good message and as long as it is a powerful one that is also relevant to the movie that we're seeing there's elements sprinkled throughout where it's worked well but overall in terms of the arc for taylor's character i don't think it really has a big payoff at all apart from maybe like one line of dialogue that's like 10 seconds long if that that's it at the end and i was just like this has taken up a lot of the movie this is becoming a big focus and priority and by all means as i mentioned it should be but in here, I just don't think it works so well. And ultimately, I don't think it serves an absolutely huge purpose to the overall story, especially as this is between Margot and Robert, who are on this date and who have got this sort of connection or kind of connection. Again, it's hard to say without spoilers. So with this one, guys, it may be a first here on the channel, but I'm actually not going to rate this movie until... I see it on a rewatch. What I'd like to know from you guys is, did you enjoy the movie Cat Person? Uh, if you have, or if you've seen it, or you want to check it out, let me know down below in the comment section so we can continue the discussion down there. If you've enjoyed this review, certainly give it a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel by clicking the red button down below, and until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.